In our first game showcase, we are going to showcase Red Dead Redemption 2. This is not only my favorite game of all time, but this is one of the best looking games ever made. Keep in mind this game is almost four years old now and is still the best looking game on the market. The graphics are incredible, the character designs are incredible, and the world design is second to absolutely no one. From the first frame, you can see the cinematic value on the screen. The first time you see Arthur Morgan, you see a character that will turn out to be one of the best game characters ever made, ever written, and ever designed. There's so many things that can be said about this game that this video could be five hours long, but we're going to try to shrink it to about 20 minutes. Right from the first time you get to actually play as Arthur, the setting is in this snowstorm as you see here. Even in this horrible weather condition, the graphics are incredible. The lighting effects are incredible. The uh, the way the snow deforms as you ride your horse through it just I, when I originally played this game for the first time I played it on an Xbox One S which is not a very strong console and even on that weaker console the graphics were unbelievable I couldn't believe they had gotten that machine to run a game so beautiful really unbelievable how well optimized it was for consoles and then when it came to PC it reached a whole nother level of graphic fidelity. You start off in this snowy hell but soon you are out in the open world and when you finally get into that open world and you can go wherever you want and do whatever you want uh, Red Dead really takes on a life of its own. The hundreds of hours that I have spent just riding around the world uh, I'm up to about 600 hours actually but it's it's just so incredible to explore because it's all handcrafted there's no it's like when they were making this game Rockstar took away the copy and paste uh, options for the game developers they didn't copy and paste a single thing everything in the game is handcrafted the detail is incredible the texture work is unbelievable the clothing that Arthur wears and that the other characters wear is super detailed and shows realistic wear over you know because it's older um, their skin shows different looks different in different weather climates when when you're in the south everybody is greasy and sweaty and their skin is shiny when you're in the cold everybody is peaked and light skinned it's unbelievable the, the amount of detail, when I was making this video, I wanted to capture hours and hours of footage, and I did capture hours and hours of footage, and it's so hard to know what to show because everything about the game is just so cinematic. It, it just comes off the screen like a movie. It's really incredible. The detail of the world is definitely the star of the show um, it's huge and it's alive the people go about their days they interact with one another they even yell at one another if they get in each other's way you have so many uh, randomized events that happen while you're exploring in the world not they're scripted but you have no way of knowing that they're scripted because it just happens at the most uh, unexpected times just riding from one place to another you'll find somebody who's been bitten by a snake or somebody whose leg is caught in a trap <coughs> or something like that and uh, you can help these people and if you do then they show up later and reward you for helping them or at least tell other people hey this is the guy I was telling you about who saved me um, the amount of detail is incredible but of course we're here to talk about the graphics more and you can see the the view distance the draw distance in this game is if you have a system strong enough to do it is incredible the detail of the open fields 
and the mountains and the animals that live within these areas is really really awesome um, it's kind of like an this this game is kind of like a skybox generator like you can just ride to a place and then kind of look at the scenery in front of you and it just looks like a screenshot everything looks like a screenshot almost no matter where you are it makes it really hard to record footage for a video like this because you feel like every single thing looks incredible you want to record everything you can see here we're riding through one of the towns at night and just the the combination of the different light sources and the environmental lighting coming from the moon and the way the two kind of work with each other and against each other at the same time is really unbelievable um, we see a lot of games have a lot of issues with things like this trying to have multiple light sources of different strengths and different tones but Red Dead does it so flawlessly it's really pretty unbelievable and we can we can see the the detail in the ground you know all the way down to the horse manure that's all over the ground you know the amount of detail that they put into every square inch of the of the towns and the roads in between the towns is really cool um, as you explore you continue to find uh, different things that kind of take you to a level that other games don't like this for example when you go to the general store I had to get this in the video when you're shopping you can actually pick items up off the shelf and he doesn't just swipe and the item sticks to his hand but they actually took the time to animate his hand reaching and picking up each individual item and then you can either buy it or you can put it back on the shelf and he'll actually set it back down on the shelf it's really a level of detail that most games don't even attempt they just don't try to do it and for good reason I mean not everybody has a development team of hundreds of developers with a 10-year window to make a game and a unlimited budget like Rockstar does but what they do with that time we've seen plenty of games take 10 years to make that are nowhere near the level of detail and polish as Red Dead so you see the ground textures here the detail like the, the parallax of these is incredible they look like you could r literally trip over them um, they don't look like a decal they don't look you know flat or two-dimensional they look completely believable and not only are they believable looking but you can watch people walk through the mud and leave footprints you can watch horses walk through the mud and leave hoof prints you can watch wagons like this one here riding through the mud and see the tracks being created in real time as they're going through the mud and the level of detail is just really incredible you well, at least some people were bored by this game some people said it was too slow mostly younger people but they said it was too slow it was it was you know kind of boring pace me personally I thought it was great the cinematic value of it just made me want to spend all my time living in a in the world as Arthur Morgan I just I didn't want to run around and sprint from objective to objective instead I wanted to stop in for a meal you know get a get a shot of whiskey hang out play cards in the in the uh, bar or go play dominoes with the guys at the camp you know the tons of different things that you can do in this world to just kind of play a game within a game is pretty incredible this game is the best hunting game I think I've ever played and I've played several hunting games that were considered to be simulate simulators 
but the hunting in Red Dead arguably is better than any of those. Uh, the same with fishing. The best fishing game I've ever played is Red Dead Redemption 2. The fishing is awesome and there's a ton of different kinds of fish and t tons of awesome locations you can ride to and then or take a boat to and then fish. It's really incredible how much stuff they put into this game. Um, you see here like even just the mountain off in the distance the you get so I've put like I said I've played 600 hours of this game so for me I just get used to it um, I kinda forget about it you know the detail in the distance and the detail in the mud and the detail in the snow as you trudge through the snow you see the the trails that he's making you know when you when things like that are going on, I've played so much of the game, it's easy to forget, but then you play other games, and they are absolutely lacking that kind of detail. Um, they feel more like a video game and less like you're playing a movie. This is early in the game. You see Arthur gets jumped and you get into a fist fight, and it's really great how they used different story situations like this to they don't really tell you press this to punch or do this you just kind of figure it out naturally and it te it's like a tutorial but it doesn't feel like a tutorial one mistake a lot of games make is they give you this tutorial level where they hold your hand for every s single e event that happens they hold your hand for everything you do and it feels so much like a video game that it takes you out of the story they're trying to tell. It takes you out of the, you know, dramatic side of things. Red Dead does a really great job of just kind of nudging you. They don't ever force you or push you. They just kind of nudge you in the right direction. There might be a small prompt on the screen that says, press this, and you do it. But it, it's never, you know, in the middle of the screen it's never in your face it's kind of almost like a subconscious thing they want you to to see it but they don't want it to take out take you out of the moment because every game every minute that you're in this game is cinematic whether you're riding your horse whether you're walking whether you're swimming whether you're fishing hunting sitting at the card table in the in the bar or whatever you're doing it's extremely cinematic and it it feels like you're playing the best western movie that was ever made except you're the character and you get to decide where the movie goes um, Red Dead Redemption the original where you played as John Marston it was an incredible game graphically as well was it anywhere near this level of course not because it was you know almost 10 years before so as we know video game graphics constantly improve and in 10 years we'll look back at this game and we might look back at it fondly but we're gonna look back at it and say wow look at how far our graphics have come since you know 2018 when this game came out but with that being said it's been over three years now since Red Dead 2 came out and it is still the best looking game out there uh, there's some games that have sh have surely improved on certain things um, such as reflections and uh, you know with ray tracing and things like that that have improved over what Red Dead 2 brings to the table but the lighting effects in Red Dead are still top-notch the the overall design of the world uh, just kind of puts you in that place it makes you feel like you're there so and you see how you know in this scene here you know you're in action you're shooting you know you're not worried about how good it looks or or any of the details that are there but the puffs of smoke with every shot from these guys guns the debris falling as that guy falls off the the balcony there the detail on the road, the detail on the the buildings, it's all, you don't realize how much it brings you into the moment, but it really, really does. And it makes a huge difference. It just makes you feel 
you know, there was somebody years ago when GTA 5 came out they said their their exp their description of GTA 5 was you can see the <coughs> excuse me you can see the money on the screen and that's a really good way to explain Red Dead 2 and it's not to say Rockstar is so incredibly talented just because they have more money than everybody else cuz there's a lot of developers out there that have really deep pockets and they do not reach the levels that Rockstar does. But it certainly doesn't hurt to have hundreds of developers and basically as long as it takes, you know, Red Dead 2 took over nine years to come out. Um, people were clamoring for it after the release of the original Red Dead Redemption. And uh, I know me, as soon as I finished the original Red Dead Redemption, I was, like, super excited that there was probably going to be a sequel or another Red Dead game. I had no idea then that it would be almost a decade before the next one came out. And now that this one is out, I'm sad to know it's probably going to be a decade before Red Dead 3 comes out. But it's, when you see the quality of what they put out and how finely tuned it is and how detailed it is and just the love that is put into every square inch of their worlds that they create they they create open worlds better than anyone else and you can see it in every every shot in this video the quality is second to none it's it's really really awesome so when you're looking at a video game you're looking for certain things and you know everybody has different things some people love unique art styles uh, some people love true like true to life realistic graphics Red Dead 2 is definitely going for that real uh, look like true to life graphics trying to mimic the real world it doesn't really have a stylized art style or anything like that going on but the the thing that they pulled off so well is they pulled off something that I think a lot of games try to do which is a believability you know as extreme as the weather can be in Red Dead 2 and the lighting you know from different times of day it's like sunset and sunrise as extreme as these can be you never feel like Oh, that's overdone because if you have ever been in a swampy area in the south like I, I have I'm from the south you know that this scene here is what it looks like in the evening you know the Sun is low and it's orange and everything's kind of foggy and gross and humid and and it looks great but it it's you can almost feel the humidity in the swamp when you're playing in Red Dead 2 because it puts off that that feel of being in that kind of situation so well and then when you're in a cold area it has like the little details your horses you can see your horses breath you can see Arthur's breath you can see everybody else's breath like so many little things to just put you in that world to make you feel like you are really there it's really really incredible so I know I'm just gushing about Red Dead 2 and it's because it is my favorite game of all time and I know the the term masterpiece gets thrown around way too much when it comes to video games I think there's only a few games ever that deserve the title of masterpiece but I do believe that Red Dead 2 is one of those games it does deserve that title of being a true masterpiece and I think for years to come we will look back at this game especially when we start to get close to a possible Red Dead Redemption 3 we will look at this game and say this is incredible we need more of this but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope I didn't ramble too much if you are interested in more graphics showcases uh, please subscribe to the channel we're gonna have a lot more coming up and we're going to have uh, 
some different types of games a little little bit of variety a little bit of everything this is just kind of the the first kickoff for the the new channel so you know please subscribe like whatever you want to do if you don't want to that's fine too thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video